So I have the uh, cards laid out in front of me, okay, and we're going to start interpreting them. The most dominant energy of the spread is the Ace of Cups here, alright? <clears throat> what I'm getting is that this is a sign of both emotional and emotional beginnings and a very friendly intention, okay? So you could be getting into a business with a friend, with a good, uh, with a partner that you already know before, an ex-partner, but this is definitely a friendly approach towards your business, okay? Uh, if you're searching for a job, then it's a new start, okay, when it comes to your work. This always does not have to be a new job also, okay? It can also mean just happy relationships between you and your colleagues, okay? But it could also be an emotional awakening, okay, when it comes to how you perceive your work. Maybe this is a new approach that you're taking towards your work or being starting a new job, okay? New projects could be on hand, okay? But this is also a good time to embark on new challenges and tasks, okay? Just utilize this rush of inspiration, all right? Um, <clears throat> but I'm getting more like you're getting an offer, uh, you're getting something which is going to make you really fall in love with, okay? There's an opportunity that is going to be presented to you that's going to be emotionally very, very fulfilling for you, okay? <clears throat> in the past, we have the King of Cups in reverse. Now, Taurus, this could be you or this could be the, uh, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Okay, this could be a manager or a boss, okay, who is a bit of a tyrant, but again, someone who lacks compassion and is emotionally very unaware of how others are doing, okay. This is someone very selfish, very ignorant of everyone's need except their own, someone who just thinks about their own, very greedy is what I'm getting, okay. Someone, again, who is very insecure also at the same time and someone who lacks emotional control, okay, which is playing a big factor out here about how this person handles things in their environment or this could be you. This is probably your, the characteristics that you're taking up in the past or you were taking up in the past, okay? Or this could also be that you were just solely and wholly in a career or a job or a business just for the money. It was emotionally absolutely unfulfilling, but you were just there for the stability it was offering you, okay? Uh, maybe you started that job with a lot of excitement, excitement and passion in the past year, but again, it all disappeared, all right? Um, maybe you're not feeling very connected to this job right now, okay? You probably enjoyed it once, at once, but now you don't enjoy it anymore. Wow. So in the current situation, we have the two of wands here. This is telling me that you're at a crossroads, okay? You need to be making a decision. You need to choose between two career paths. Could be two jobs, two career paths, um, two professions, anything, okay? But I'm thinking this is more like um, a career path or job, okay? Business or not, okay, I feel that you already have your, uh, if, if this is also a business, this could also be thinking, uh, you thinking about whether you want to continue pursuing the same business that you are doing right now, okay. It's like I'm getting you already have your one foot out of the door, you know, you're already one foot out of the door, okay, and you're wanting to make plans for the future career, okay, but you're looking at something else, you already have chosen, I feel that you've already chosen the path that you want to, you're leaving this path behind could be two careers or could be two switching to industries, anything, all right? But again, you, uh, you're probably even looking at your ambitions and you're, again, I'm feeling you're charting a path towards your dream, all right? Making plans for the future career. You probably even are considering uh, an ideal company to work for or um, what your speciality may be and maybe you want to choose your industry according to what your speciality is. Whatever it is, right? You're laying down your plans to start your own business also. It could be okay. But again, when it comes to two, it signals between two choices, okay? It can be anything. In the near future, wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely, definitely new opportunities, okay, that are coming to you and they're going to be available to you, all right? This is a better secure job. This is a higher position in your existing company. Anything, okay? But Taurus, if you take your chances and work hard, it's going to be very rewarding for you. Okay? A business venture or a job, a promotion, whatever, right? But again, it's an ace. So you need to be very careful that it's just the beginning, okay? Whatever's going to be offered to you. This is a gift from the universe. This is an opportunity from the universe, okay? So yeah, this is marking the start of a new adventure or an era for you, okay? Good energy is coming your way. Just welcome it. All right. Just put in your hard work. This is the ace. Aces are just the seeds, okay, that you're planting before you have the entire plants grow, right? So this is going to take a lot of effort, a lot of energy, a lot of hard work, a lot of um, 
investing your time, etc. All right, that's when it's going to grow to the ten of pentacles. Okay, this is very very small, but do not underestimate the potential of it. How you see yourself right now is the eight of cups in reverse. Um. <clears throat> Taurus, I'm feeling that this is to do with your current energies, okay, your current job. This is almost like you hard for work very hard, work very hard for something. This has to do with this unfulfilling job that you are experiencing in the past or you have experienced in the past, okay? This is the job that you solely work for just because of the money, money and stability is what I'm getting, okay? Um I'm getting that um you have fear of walking away from something. Okay, you're finding it very difficult, you know, or you're finding refusing to walk away from something out of fear. Um, it could be walking out of an unfulfilled job or business. That is what I'm getting more so. But you're still choosing stability over happiness. Okay, again, because the job that you are currently in, it's paying the bills. Fair enough. But again, it's not fulfilling you emotionally, okay? But that's what you're choosing. You're choosing stability over happiness, okay? You know that you're in an unfulfilling career or profession, okay? But you have the power to change it, Taurus. You do, okay? You can choose to either accept a role, you know, accept a job or a business that has no emotional reward for you, no creative outlet, or choose an opportunity for growth, okay? And you need to make the necessary changes, okay, to go towards it. But right now I see what you're doing, how you see yourself is you're afraid of leaving something behind. Even if it's not serving you anymore, okay? You're just afraid of letting it go. You're holding on to a business or a career or a job only because of duty or fear, okay? But it pretty much, today or tomorrow you have to let it go, okay? Because it's just not making you happy. You're feeling stuck here. Only because you've invested so much or you could have tried to walk away but you didn't find anything and you had to bounce back whatever but this is just an energy where you're not being able to move on <clears throat> in your surrounding energies we have the nine of cups here okay so i'm getting that you are probably going to get a, something that is going to be very very fulfilling for you okay nine of cups is an emotional fulfilling card it's the ultimate wish fulfillment okay something that's going to make you very very happy i'm getting that you probably you know you worked hard for something okay and uh, you're going to be getting a lot of respect and recognition in your field could be the current field or could be the future field that you're working for okay but there's something that you're going to get and whatever field you're going to get into next is what i'm getting i think it's going to give you a lot of public recognition okay and a lot of respect whatever projects also that you may start in the future okay they're going to be very easy to finish or uh, even the skills okay that you demonstrate in completing them okay that's also going to earn you a lot of praise this is a lot of praising a lot of making you happy people are going to recognize you a lot of rewards etc okay if you're looking to advance in your career this is an excellent time okay probably even raise or a promotion okay i think if right now you're wanting to even want a business partnership anything right i think people are going to be more receptive to you in the environment okay rather than in the past or in the future right now is a good time i think you should take advantage of what's going on in your environment okay don't be overconfident but don't be very shy also. All right. I'm guessing that you've hard for you work very hard for this recognition, and you're getting it. In your emotions is the nine of pentacles in reverse. Hope you can see the card. Yeah. Um. Taurus, you're desperately desiring success. Let me just put it out there. You're desperately desiring success, uh, but two things: either you're not ready to actually work for it. Or, or you work so hard for it that everything else has fallen by the edge of the road. You put everything else on the back burner, okay? And you've just put in your 100% into this current career that you're working for. But this is in your emotions, okay? Maybe you've gone through downfalls or whatever it has been, right? But again, you need to make sure that the people that you work with are trustworthy. Check your legal documents, okay? Be, be safe as well. But at the same time, okay, you're pushing yourself too hard to work on something or to get the desired results, okay? You're overworking is what I'm getting. Yeah, so um, focus on it. Again, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, get a balance, okay? Don't be too focused only on one thing, okay? Where you put in your thousand percent into something and everything else is on the edge, okay? Everything else is on the side way. Don't do that. That's what's happening in your emotions. It's only work, 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 but you're not really getting the fruits of your labor or you're not even sitting and enjoying the fruits of your labor. Let me put it that way too. Okay, 
it's almost like I'm getting you have all the money, you have the stability, you have um, everything that it needs to enjoy yourself. But for you, it's like I'm, I'm getting a lack mindset, although I'm not getting that five of pentacles here, I'm getting the lack mindset. No matter what you do, you're always wanting to still keep on pushing yourself, okay? Like, no, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, I don't have enough. That means you're overworking and you're stressing yourself out or you're not even enjoying the money that you have. Okay, this is someone also, someone who's really, okay, like I said, right? Someone who's desiring success very, very desperately. You already have it, but you're just not ready to sit there and enjoy it, okay? Because for you, it's like, I need more, I need more. Greediness also. Yep, like I said. Likely outcome, we have the king of pentacles in reverse. This is the likely outcome, okay? So there could be some unsuccessful work projects, okay? I'm getting this is more to do with your current work right now, okay? Oh, this is also closing a business. I think likely outcome, you're going to close this business with the king of cups in reverse here. The eight of cups. If you're into a business or a career, right? I think you're going to walk away from an unfulfilling job. This is the current one that you're doing. The, the one that is not fulfilling you, I think that's the one I'm talking about. That's the one I'm talking about. This is closing a business, okay? Or, or getting rid of a job. Because uh, there's a lot of instability within the business that you are in or within the work that you're in, okay? You're probably tired of your current job and uh, this is affecting the quality of your work and your motivation is dropping. This could also be a ruthless person at work or this could be you, okay? So, yeah, someone who's just being very selfish, greedy and very manipulative at the same time. Again, okay, could be you, could be someone in your environment, could be your boss, could be your colleague. I'm seeing this as you, you can take it how it resonates. You need to keep doing what's best for your career, okay? Um, if you're looking for a raise or a promotion, okay, I feel you need to keep needing more experience. You're still lacking the experience, okay? So if you're looking for a promotion, you're still lacking the experience to do it. But otherwise, I'm feeling that this is either a loss of a job or this is just someone who's being very selfish, greedy, okay? And wanting more, more, more. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is in your emotions. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.